Greetings, welcome again. Another video we're going to be talking about. Is the narcissist really happy with new supply? Um, we're going to get into that. And before that, I know a lot of people have been asking me about the links and the, the downloadable um, videos, products, such as my Departure of Empathy 1 and 2, which uh, documentaries that I release, um, both available. Um, you can download them. They're all downloadable products. So I'll leave that in the description box. The links are working. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, I've heard before people, you know, from people that you, you shouldn't look to see or care, uh, you know, what the narcissist is doing, you know, after it's done and over with. I guess this is this is true. Um, but there are stages to getting to that point for a person to do so, to be able to just um, not, uh, you know, um, put themselves in that position to wanting to know what's going on. But we have to take into account the aspect of how human nature works, especially when there is no closure given and in most cases, when a transaction with a narcissist is completed, a person can still feel drawn to or connected to or wanting or curious about what exactly is going on with a narcissist. And you see, to be truly healed and to be in, in, indifferent and unbothered most most of this um, comes from an understanding of yourself, you know, uh, and the situation that may have gotten you in, into that type of interaction with a narcissistic person in the first place. So we have to do reflecting and a lot of other things to get to that point where it's like, oh, you shouldn't look anyway. Right. I'm not sure that's how human nature works when they've been. Someone has been genuine and connected on a deep level, such as that I'm not sure human nature just says, oh, cut off. And then, you know, there's no curiosity or anything that comes into play. So there has to be stages to get to that point. Mean, meaning you have to work on yourself and do some reflection, introspection and all the, all this other stuff to, to really um, start to release some of the bad habits or unhealthy habits that led you there into the first place. Now let's look at why narcissists give the appearance of being happy with new supply. First, you have to understand that the narcissist modus operandi is completely different than normal people. Okay. Their objectives and desires are different. And they differ greatly from someone without a personality disorder. Narcissists are impulsive, unpredictable, reckless. Um, they're adrenaline junkies. They seek the thrill of things. And this helps them feel connected to life. A lot of it helps them as pain, dissatisfaction that they feel within, boredom, okay? And for the narc, um, once a new source has been acquired, the narcissist has a, a, a rush, uh, you know, of, of intense energy, you know, uh, a feeling of, you know, they feel vibrant, they feel inspired, joyful, uplifted, blissful, and so on. These feelings for them are real. They're real feelings. And that may even be the case of being happy for that moment when they're with this new source, okay? It's real for that particular moment of time while the supply is new and unlearned, okay? While the supply is new and unlearned, yes, they're, 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 they're feeling good. They're feeling happy. A lot of you, you will see them posting pictures and you know uh, they'll they'll be smiling and looking as though you never existed they've completely got over you 
right? And and a lot of you may scratch your head and be like, wow, how 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 is that when they were supposed to be so deeply in love with you? So deeply committed to you. And they told you all these things about how they couldn't live without you and, and so forth and so on. Right? Well, let's look at this, you know. Let's take this example. Assume that you, uh, most of you, assuming that most of you have had a common cold, the flu, or maybe even a stomach virus, right? You know how bad and down in the dumps you might feel once this comes up on you. You know, you get tired, fatigued, you just plain feel awful, and you're not yourself. But what happens when you start to feel good again? Right. You become more energetic. You're in better spirits. You're more animated because you're not feeling well, because you are well, at least you're feeling better now. You know, there's a biological shift that's taking place within you to cause you to feel better. So people uh, sometimes even use to help aid this over the counter products, you know, from drugstore, you know, something like that to, to help the process of healing, but it's primarily your own immune system, if working properly, that's fighting off the sickness, getting you to feel better again, right? Um, now, let's say, for this illustration at least, that the immune system is not properly working or maybe weak right might not be functioning properly it's dysfunctional then you can expect frequent sicknesses and you may have to experience that discomfort of feeling bad more frequent or more often uh, than someone with a normal functioning immune system right and now I'd like to really get into introducing the point that I'm trying to make. For narcissists, they have a, dilapid a dilapidated, dysfunctional ego. Where the regulation and the proper functioning of their emotions and feelings is insufficient. Meaning that um, for them the rest of their lives are going to have to depend on people or things external outside of them to act as over-the-counter over -counter medication to help them feel better about themselves and their lives, right? We know there's no, you know, there's no medicinal medication to treat a personality disorder, right? So the self-medicative treatment for them usually comes in the form of other people, right? And this is how they are able to make themselves feel better about themselves and their lives. It's like a lot of living vicariously through other people and through other things. This essentially is a continuous loop of constantly getting emotionally sick for the narcissist. Many narcs hate and even despise the fact that they have to depend on others in order to become, um, you know, uh, uh, emotionally uh, well, put it that way. In order to become emotionally well, the narcissist has to depend on other people. So with each new source of supply, they are happy for that moment because they're not feeling down in the dumps, as I il illustrated earlier, if a person was to catch a cold, to give you a visual how that would feel when you have a cold. Well, this is how a narcissist feels when they get emotionally sick. This is the, the, the ups and downs, the periods of ups and downs that they have. Well, one moment they're happy, the next moment they're not. And it, it's a constant fluctuation within them. Um, the new supply, while the, that new supply is still effective, 
and has a certain amount of potency still to suppress their horrible inner feelings and you know and and the 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 way that they think about themselves that new supply suppresses that because it distracts them from the core issues that reside within them they can pay attention to the new supply they can learn a new supply they can it's a new thing to um place their attention elsewhere okay without having to deal with the fact that they are defective beings defective people and then people may say well why then the constant changing of people and situations as supply, you know, why do they constantly change? Well, we can look at it from uh, this perspective. Um, of course, understanding, you know, how antibiotics work. If we, we look at how antibiotics uh, work in the body, if needed and used, they can be effective in getting rid of bacteria, bad bacteria. But if used too frequently or improperly, um, they'll lose their effectiveness and end up may not and, and probably end up not even working. This is why in many cases antibiotics are switched to combat different strains so that the Bacteria doesn't become resistant to the antibiotic. All right. Now, if we're looking at this from how narcissists um, are with people, narcissists kind of use people in that way. And over a period of time, after they've ran that person into the ground, that person... Um, the attention that they may give, the, the, you know, um, the help, the assistance, all that gets taken for granted because it's it's no longer new. And the narcissist, they've built a resistance to the virtues of that person. It, it's not effective to them after a certain period of time. Now, for narcissists, the people that they are, are with become um, basically, they they become, uh, as I said, an, ineff an ineffect ineffective drug to the narcissist. So what happens with that, just as if you were taking an antibiotic that was not working, you have to switch that antibiotic out. Because the narcissist as well will see you as not being able to do enough for them. Even though in the beginning you were able to do everything for them and they just praise you to, 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 the, to the ends of the earth. Now you can't do any, anything right for them. It's time to switch you out. It's time to get a new antibiotic or person to come in and help suppress their emotional sickness narcissists look happy whenever their emotional sickness is suppressed and unfortunately people end up being the medication of choice which they see as interchangeable to regulate their dysfunctional egos so this is a never-ending process happy once they are feeling good sad down and ready to replace the person as a drug as an over-the-counter form of medication to get something else in that is going to help suppress or get rid of the unwanted effects that preside within them ask yourself this though ask yourself this question would you truly be happy with an uncontrollable, non-curable mental disorder that causes emotional sickness, pain, shame, and a variety of other 
um, destructive traits within your life? My answer would be no. I wouldn't be happy. I would be quite miserable. I would have to go into a state of fantasy, delusions, all these other things to combat that sickness that is presiding over me. The narcissist will never be truly happy. Not in any way. And when you see them with other people, it's just another over-the-counter medication for them. Which cannot cure them. Anyway, won't ramble on anymore with this. Hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time, have a good one.